I'll push you away and tell you beg me to stay just for the thrill. That was the very first song that we um, we did with Nick and uh, and Colin, and it was kind of like our introduction, like the very first track that was just like, you know, pretty much we're gonna meet like two people that we've never met before and we're gonna see how this goes creatively. This is a perfect opportunity for Colin and I to kind of mash our heads together on something we've been wanting to do that for like a while anyways, almost a year. And it just felt like the right mesh of, you know, all sort of different genres that we both were doing at the time. And that's kind of like the perfect experiment was Papa Roach. We were just writing, it was a writing yeah. session. Yeah. We didn't even really have, we didn't know who we were gonna have as a producer yet. So we we did that song and we knew. Point the gun in the right direction, and just let him roll, you know. Yeah. It's like try to harness it. That's really the best way to describe it. Some totally. of these guys. It was a match made in heaven. Fucked in the head from all the things that we did, but I will never forget. I need you. My medication. We were looking for a, a, a more modern kind of take of of who we are, but then also in, in in saying that, also taking a look back at where we've been and pull from the greatest elements that we felt. And they were just like, we need something different. And we we're like, all right, dude, well, what if we just fucking just get rid of all of this? Strip it basically you know naked I mean? and put a new yeah, $5,000 suit on just, it. Yeah. Have you ever had enough of it? Straight over it, sick of it, can't get a hold of it. Like a drug, I need another fix. I'm a moth to a flame and I'll burn for the hell of it. You know, talking about the chorus, it's just dysfunction. It's just an anthem of just raw, just ridiculousness. You know, it's like I look back at my life and some of the, the actions I've taken and some of the behaviors I've been involved in and, you know, this twisted dynamic that I bring to my relationships sometimes. It's, uh, it's, it's dysfunctional, but somehow we make it function. So I push you away and tell you favorite memories of the whole recording process is when, and this is perf this describes some ideas that, that you know, Rass would come up with, was like, yo, we're all going to get on the mic and we're all going to go, ooh, <laughs> ah, and we're looking at him <laughs> like, we're all like, what, what? Uh, he's yeah. like, no, he's like, just, well, the bridge is going to come in on the one, you know, we're just going to be like, ooh, and he just trust me, and I was like, all right, so we all do it. And if you put on headphones and you listen to the song, you'll hear it and you know what I'm talking about. And it adds so much to that bridge. 